Hi there. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hello, Andrea. Andrea Brigatti. Where are you now? No, not on the boat. Not on the boat, unfortunately. I'm up in the mountains in Datuil, Val d'Aosta. Uh, confined indoor uh, with a family, but I guess it's okay. It's much better than being in Milano. Mm, I can imagine that, but yeah. you know, I'm from Rome, so I'm partial. <laughs> so, so we are not live; we are recorded. But uh, okay, it's it's still really great to have you. And um, Thank you. you're going to tell us today a bit. You're not doing really a bucket list um, by items, uh, as we said yesterday, but um, it's more like the whole accessible sailing um, thing. Uh, is is the the bucket list experience? So tell us a bit about the story, about your story, and uh, and then give us a few tips on uh, okay, what let's... Things people can do on your boat. Uh, yes, let's say that sailing comes from basically my my view in life. Uh, just you know, roaming. I've been a biker. I've always been touring. And um, like 17 years ago, I had a crash, so I was confined to, uh, to a wheelchair. And that was a, the biggest problem for me has always been, I, I never loved planning. I never loved being confined to a place, you know, searching for the hotel, searching for what you do before getting there. So I tried uh, different ventures, uh, let's, let's say, and then um, I went back to sailing. Sailing was one of my loves before the, before the crash. I tried with a non-accessible um, non uh, sailboat in Greece uh, two years after the, the crash. And uh, it was uh, a huge problem. I mean, I hurt myself a bit, not, nothing serious, but... I literally felt like um, like a bag of potatoes, not able to do to take part to the life of the, of the boat. Uh, so I decided I had to find a way to to get back. Not only sailing, because this is one to stress. Uh, it's not only sailing, which is something I love to do, but it's the way uh, the way you live. It's basically like being on the water with a camper. You just and you go wherever you want. You don't need. Uh, to plan in advance, you you have a general idea where you want to go. The only thing you need to do is uh, keep an eye on the weather forecast. But mm -hmm. that's that's it. Then you you know uh, you change from location to location, and and then you see if it's accessible, what you can do, if you enjoy the place, if there are good nice people around, or if you don't like them too much noise, you just just change. You know, you know pick up the anchor and go. Uh, so this, um, this view, this, this idea, this necessity brought me to become owner of Kadama. And uh, since the very beginning, I decided, uh, couldn't be just for me. It was too much just for me, a uh, bit of a Calvinist, uh, education. So it was way too much. So I decided I, I, I had to share, uh, somehow and from there, from there, first came the idea of having a kind of uh, sailing camp, sailing school for people on a wheelchair. Uh, then we arrived to have um, what I call a mixed crew of paraplegics and normal, not much normal in them, but normal <laughs> people. Uh, and then we have regattas where we can, we got even some nice, um, nice results let's call them and then i decided to charter the boat i chartered the boat with a with a crew with my crew with my so a skipper um a crew and a hostess uh, the people who, who they are accustomed to me uh, so poor guys basically uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know they, they know how uh how to take care of people and they know how to take care of uh, of the boat. Um, here you see uh, the boat is in, in Ionian Islands. I think it's an, oh, that's, uh, that's, where, that's where your, your screen, uh, your, your screen says yes, it's, 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 your yeah. backdrop. Uh, it's so a very short clip of, uh, of our stay. I think it's Antipaxos. And the one you see... <laughs> It's very hypnotic and relaxing. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It was a wonderful place. Um, so you see, the, the, the beauty of the boat is that it's, uh, 
you, you can see it on the, on, on the website. Um, it's built to uh, to our necessities, uh, so uh, it's customized. Let's say, uh, so uh, you can leave a board, obviously, but you you can uh, be an active part of conducting the of sailing. So you can be a, either at, at the wheel, uh, you know, steering the boat, or uh, at the sails. Or you just can relax and enjoy uh, places like that, the, the one you see behind you, behind me. Um, you do like weekends and weeks. What can you see in a weekend, for example? What uh, there is, uh, let's say, uh, best option is a uh, is a long weekend. It would be if you can start it uh, starting Friday noon. Um, the base uh, of Calama is in Riva di Traiano, which is nearby Rome, one hour from Rome. Mm -hmm. um, so ideally you could have one week in Rome and then spend the weekend on the boat. Oh, that's a great the, idea actually. That's what I actually I try yeah. to do every time I can. Uh, also because I have parents in Rome. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so um, you just cast off um, as, as soon as you can. You sail, I would say, north to Tuscany, uh, where uh, you have, in, uh, let's say, depending on, uh, obviously, on uh, on the wind uh, and uh, the sea conditions, you can have, like, um, four hours um, sailing uh, or motor sailing. And uh, um, you get to the... Um, Tuscany Islands, uh, which is Isola d'Elba. Oh, right. That's nice. Uh, and it's accessible. Video. Isola d'Elba Isola is pretty accessible. Okay. Uh, it's uh, for a short time or up to a week is an, um, is an ideal place because um, it has pretty, pretty, very beautiful and safe coves uh, and bays all around the island. So whichever direction the wind comes from, you have a sheltered place to stay. You don't need to get to the harbor. But if you want to get to the harbor, uh, there is Porto Ferraio, which is uh, accessible with restaurants. Uh, if you have um, one of those um, Attachable, how do you call uh, like the tree rider and so on? Uh, uh, yeah, attachable, yeah, yeah, you know, um, yeah, you know, uh, the wheels you touch in like giant wheels you touch in front, you can get up to pretty easily uh, to the um, Napoleone Villa where he had his first Excel, which is at the, 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 the ground floor is accessible, mm -hmm. or you can take a cab. But Porto Ferraio is a nice place with a um, huge and beautiful, I don't have the pictures here, but um, as a Beautiful fortress um, protecting the harbor. Um, beautiful place. Also, uh, on farther north, uh, you have um, Marciana Marina, which is uh -huh. a nice place. Uh, you can you can shelter, and again, you have pretty restaurants on uh, on the on the harbor. And then you have many coves around the, the, the island, so you can both have uh, you know relaxing time or, or sailing. Also. Uh, in, the, in the canal on, um, between uh, Isola d'Elba and Piombino, mm -hmm. there's and Pino always is the port on the, on the yes coast. on the coast uh, on Tuscany coast. Um, uh, there's always wind. That's where um, the Argentario sailing week uh, is held in mid June. A pretty nice uh, regatta. And um, if you uh, move uh, at back, uh, you're looking at Google Maps. <laughs> I'm looking at Google Maps from Piombino. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, from from Isola d'Elba. You have Capraia, which is north to um, north of it, towards um, Livorno and Liguria. And you can you stop in Capraia? There is uh, Carama won't stay in the harbor because it's too big. Mm. But there's a very nice um, bay, sheltered bay. You need to have good weather and good sea, but you can stay. And it's a natural park, so full of fish. Um, going down, so going south, so going back to... So going uh, back towards the... Yes. Uh, so ideally, you could spend a one night in a Giglio or Giannutri, uh, which are two small islands. Uh, and, and Friday night, 
uh, and Janutra, Janutra is not accessible. Mm, okay, so you cannot zero, get off the boat. But you cannot get off the boat, but you can stay, spend the day in the evening, have an, an aperitif in, a, in, a, in the bay, mm -hmm. uh, a tanker, which is something that I absolutely love to do. And you don't go, you don't go um, on the island, you don't go, but you can go on the island, uh, you can land, make land for on, a, on Giglio. Mm -hmm. Giglio is not very accessible. Uh, there's, I never been there. I wanted to do, uh, to, uh, reckon the, 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 uh, the visit this, uh, this spring, but obviously not possible, but, uh, from friends, I know you can get to the airport, um, and you can you get a taxi mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, up to the top of the island where there's a nice restaurant accessible restaurant oh. i don't think they have a, an accessible restrooms but uh if you can hold it for long enough you can have, have your dinner and, the boat. and then you get back to on the boat okay. uh it shouldn't take that long but you should have a very nice view um and this is um something i would like to stress um Mainly, uh, Italy is accessible with restrooms uh, by law. We are, yeah, exactly. we are, we are, yeah, yeah. We are obliged to have uh, accessible restrooms. Of course, is, Italy is, um, let's say, a very old, if not country, at least very old place. Uh, so um, many of the most beautiful uh, attractions are old, thousand, a thousand year old. Uh, so uh, you won't find. Um, elevators, you won't find ramps, and you might find very difficult to find uh, um, easily accessible restrooms. What you will find always, all in the Mediterranean, just not Italian, but all across the Mediterranean, nice people ready to help. We come from a, a history where we, we were not rich people. So we are accustomed to rely on each other. So wherever, uh, as, a, as a paraplegic, as a wheelchair user, one of the things I, I need to make clear to, uh, to people around me is that I don't want your help. I, I want to try first by myself. And then, and then if I cannot, I will ask you help. But help is always available. So as long as you are uh, willing to adapt a bit, you, you can get everywhere, anywhere, and have a really good experience. Um, so, what do you eat well, on the boat? I have a practical question. What do you eat yes. on the boat? Do you do your own cooking? Do you have a cook? Well, there's um, okay. This, the the, um, the kitchen is not accessible right now. It's one of the future uh, project I have. Which, uh, it's going to be really, really, really expensive. So for now. Um, I have a cook. It's much less, <laughs> much cheaper, oh, <laughs> and much better because she is. I um, I call her. Uh, her name is Silvia. She has a uh, an unbelievable smile, and I call her the goddess of happiness because she she, she cooks. She's unbelievable. One of the problem is getting is getting off the boat without <laughs> getting too many too many kilos because she's truly unbelievable, uh, and she loves cooking. She really loves cooking. Uh, great, she's great. from Rome. She's from Rome, so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and um, yes, so I do not cook. She does, um, unless you want to help, and you can use the word room to to help. Um, how many people can go can come on Kadama with you? So how? You uh, so uh, by law, uh, twelve people maximum. Three are the crew. Okay. This is while sailing, not in port. Um, three are the crew, so um, nine people. But the point, so you could uh, fit in nine people. The point is the berth are seven. Three in the main room, the, the, the accessible one, mm -hmm. um, and four uh, more in two more cabins with bunk beds. So, uh, you know, bags one yeah. above the other uh, with their um, own toilet uh, restroom. Um, accessible, both bathrooms are accessible. No, um, the, the, the main cabin bathroom is accessible. Um, both the toilet, the shower, and the sink. I, uh there's uh on the on, on the half page um 
there's a tour of the accessibility accessibility of the of the boat. Uh, so you see also um, there's not only what you see, but available stowed on board is a, net, uh, a further adaptation for the for the toilet seat. Okay. And uh, what we call uh, what we call a commoda, which is basically the wheelchair you use to take a shower or uh, to uh, go to the toilet. Okay. So it's um, it's a collapsible one, but it's always available. Okay. So should you need uh, should you need it, it's there, it's available. Okay, great. I'm trying to um, find. There was a video that we had from you where people can see the accessible features of Kadama so that they can actually do a tour of the boat. Let me find it so we can maybe we can send it and people will be able to see it and you can um, you can talk about it. Okay, sure. Uh, it's one of your videos that's called... This, uh, this, it's... You have so many and they're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> There is Kadama wheelchair accessibility full tour. Shall we see that one? Yeah, sure. Okay, but then let me. Can you can you stop while uh, can you stop it a moment? Can you pause it while while it's okay? Good. I think that's feasible. I will tell you when it's on when I start to share my screen. Here we are. So so now people will see the video and. Oh, this is cool. Okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Just, okay. You think All right. Music because it's okay. Nice, but, uh... Here is the, the gangway. As you see, uh, oh, here you see there is that part of the boat um, was without any railings, let's call. Uh, that's because we had an accident with, with very, very strong and nasty storm. Mm. Um, this is a, a a ramp, so uh, it's uh, that's with the with the cockpit is. This is the first tuga. I call tuga. I don't remember the English name. That's the second tuga. This is the works we did to enlarge the um, the hatch. Uh huh. It was a difficult uh, uh, job, we, and this is the uh, trial and main uh, main uh, lift, main elevator that brings you down to the wardroom. Okay. Uh, it goes down. Um, there's I never use it. Obviously, there's uh, what we call the Kenti Bene, uh, uh, a safety um, rail that you put around your feet so you don't fall oh, down. Right. Yeah, that was so one. You can hold yourself. Yeah, yeah. This is the wardroom uh, with a collapsible table. Mm -hmm. Second lift that brings to the um, to the to the owner cabin. Okay. These are, these are the trails. Ah, right, because then, then it goes down, yes. Uh -huh. So when I'm on board, uh, there you see, it goes uh, level to the to the floor, to the wooden floor, and it goes uh -huh. down level to the to the older cabin. Oh. Uh, if, uh, because it's not chartered only for, for, um, for, para, for disabled, for paraplegic users, uh, it stays in a middle position, so it becomes basically a step. And what the other thing is, I try to um, have all the um, all the works, all the all the modifications on board, uh, without um, touching the um, the lines and, and the spirit of the of the, the aesthetic of the yeah, boat. Yeah. So you actually beautiful, yeah. You won't see it's adapted. Yeah. Okay, that's the toilet. You see, there's. Um, the rubber, that's what I use, the rubber, the rubber black stuff, I don't know, the rubber cover, black cover. Uh -huh. If you prefer, there's also something, okay. I don't know how there's you call it. There's a wooden it. one also, if people want. Yes, there's the regular one. Mm -hmm. Also, that one, you can add, uh, uh, add the one that, that um, uh, increases the height. The, the, uh, the, the, yeah, um, I don't know okay. what it's called in English either. Yeah. You know, do I? No, uh, to make the, it. The, the shower wheelchair is not shown, but mm -hmm. here you see it's terribly slow. But here it comes back again. Mm -hmm. That one uh, on the right is the, uh, the, the big stuff with the old, um, the main um, remote control. Now there is a small one uh, which you can stow away or you take with yourself. Oh, okay. uh, up we go. 
you, you're doing uh, the whole demonstration in the video you're very serious <laughs> yes <laughs> you're doing it you have to in that video <laughs> when i'm sailing or when i'm with my crew uh, doing regattas uh, the spirit is quite different <laughs> <laughs> i can imagine because yeah. all your photos on on instagram and you're always having a lot of fun see this is from uh oh here we are and you see <laughs> you can see the difference <laughs> i can see i can recognize andrea all right and this uh, th that one it's fantastic because one of the three guys is on the wheelchair is where uh, is a friend of mine from school oh. sailor and we discovered we were both in a, on a wheelchair um years later here i'm going at first swim. this oh. is the um, oh. okay this uh, uh let's call it bosom chairs uh it's um patented the register for uh paraplegic users you can either uh, activate it by yourself at the way i like Mm -hmm. Or you can um, um, change the, um, the direction and have it uh, activated by uh, by the crew. So you don't need to kids, mine and my friends. <laughs> uh, so and this is the a great end family of holiday. Actually, it's a really cool yes, family yes. holiday. Uh, whenever, if the boat is free, um, I spend my my holidays uh, on Kadama. And longest period I've spent on board has been one month and one week. Cool. That's pretty long time. Uh, I think it's cool. going to be when, when this is all over. I think it's going to be another month on board, isn't it? <laughs> but but you can take other people. We have to say that that you that you take groups as well. It's uh, it's for you, <laughs> but you also take groups that uh, can book uh long yes. week or a week and um oh if you well you can i mean uh, as long as i know it in advance if you want to book one month it's okay just let me know in <laughs> advance so i can you know organize myself yeah, uh yeah. it's uh it's an unbelievable experience uh it it makes me feel alive like i love skiing uh, I really love skiing. I, I, I think I'm good in, with skiing, uh, and I love mountains. I've always loved mountains, uh, but sailing, sailing away, sailing, you know, uh, one day here, tomorrow there. It's, it's really something that speaks to the soul. It's really, really, really something different. The, 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 today, uh, when you are in a in a cave, if you're lucky enough uh, to to have no uh, no one around you and you wake up in the morning and then you just hear that this how do you say the sloshing of the waves against the hull or you just you know at night you enjoy the, the going down of the sun and the stairs uh, yeah, that's, no, it's pretty, truly, pretty. that's truly unbelievable it's something very very strong and I really can't wait to get back to that. Uh, no, no, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> um, it's going to be on a lot of people's bucket list after we publish the booklet, because uh, as I was saying in the video before, but uh, uh, we're making a booklet with the bucket lists uh, from all over the world from today's suggestions. So for your bucket list, we're going to put the long weekend itinerary and then um, people can uh, can find you there. So yeah. Uh, no, no, uh, uh what, what what can i say else uh whatever i mean having kadama as um, a safe place you can get back to you can you can really go wherever you want i mean i've been around uh of course italy and for now the union islands since i was uh since i've been sitting on, on a wheelchair and it's beautiful because you know you have a, a safe place to get back to so you just Get down. I can uh, by law. I cannot organize you a tour. I, I can only uh, charter you the boat. But I can tell you that wherever you go, you can you know make landfall. There's a video somewhere where I make landfall uh, with, uh, with a with a zodiac with a tender mm -hmm. uh, on a beach. Uh, I was fantastic, great experience. And then you can go out. To, to, to have lunch, dinner, whatever you want in a nice restaurant. You can book a taxi. You can you just, you know, if you bring with yourself your your um, your tree ride, your mm -hmm. whatever it is, you can see many, many, many places, uh, beautiful places. Uh, and and then you can back, get back and the, the day you have a nice wind, you can go out and, and sail a boat. 
which is also something I truly love because when you get uh, out in a 25 knots wind, uh, she, the boat, Kadama, she, 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 she's really happy. Uh, and she <laughs> says, she says pretty, pretty, pretty well. I mean, um, uh, also, um, she's big, she's 22 meters. So mm -hmm. it's uh, 72 feet, um, a wooden boat. You won't find many of those. Mm -hmm. um, um what can i it, it won't be can i say cramped it, it won't be it's big so you, you feel free also on board not only great. sailing or rowing around so it's great experience great great andrea this was wonderful thank you thank you thank you so much my pleasure and, uh, we we hope to see you soon on your boat <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yes, me too actually me too <laughs> <laughs> so with a big wish to see you soon on the boat and um and a big thank you for being with us we're going to send the video later on during the day so that people can, uh, okay. can watch it and get some uh, some wanderlust for taking a sailing holiday yes. on a beautiful boat thank so, you andrea big hug my pleasure big see hug be safe oh. in this nasty moment and keep up your hope it's good to go over so we're gonna have good times again Great. Thank you, Andrea. Ciao, okay. grazie, grazie. A presto. A presto. Ciao. Ciao.